Hey everyone, let's talk about one of the really handy new features in Photo Raw, and that's the new local adjustment layers and local adjustment tools. They're available in both Develop and Effects. They're actually shared with both, and they kind of sit at the very top of everything that you do. Local adjustments let you paint in or use the masking bug or luminosity masks, any kind of masking technique you want, to locally change details in your photo. Let me show you the basics. I'm going to start off with this picture of a flower, and I'm just going to give it kind of a nice warm black and white to get the look that I want. I'm going to grab something like this preset here from effects. All right, that gets us started. Now, this is a little flat. I don't like how the background is fairly close to the same tone as a lot of parts of the flower. So let's use an adjustment brush and the adjustment layer to darken the background. To do that, you can either click on the Local Adjustments tab over here, or you can grab either the Adjustment Brush or the Adjustable Gradient tool. I'm just going to grab the Adjustment Brush tool. There we go. You notice when I did that, it turns on the Local Adjustments tab, and it automatically adds an adjustment layer. Each adjustment layer lets you control the exposure, the contrast, the highlights, shadows, detail, tweak the color, and the saturation and the vibrance. And you can stack up as many of these as you want to affect different areas. I'm going to use the Brush tool. I'm going to turn the Perfect Brush option on. The Perfect Brush detects the color in the photo under the center of the brush and applies the effect to just that area, but protects things that are different. So watch. As I start to paint along the edge, it's not darkening the flower, it's just darkening the background behind it. Its unique edge detection technology makes it really, really handy for doing these types of local adjustments. At any time, I can hit the O key on my keyboard to preview what the mask looks like. You can see what a great mask it's created just by brushing around with that perfect brush. Now comes the cool part. I can use any of the adjustments over here to adjust just that area. So watch, if I grab my exposure slider and I bring it down, I can make that background darker or lighter. I can control just the tone that I want. I'm going to make it kind of a nice dark chocolatey color like that. And I'm going to reduce the detail on this so it's a nice, smooth, clean color. There we go. That really makes the flower pop out quite a bit more. Now let's add a local adjustment to the flower itself. Now I'm going to show you a really easy way to do that, and that's just to copy and paste the mask. I've already created a great mask using the perfect brush. I can use that over and over again without having to repaint the areas again. If I just click on the little mask icon, I can see the thumbnail for the mask. I'm just going to copy that mask. Now let's add another layer that we're going to use to adjust the flower. Click on the Add Layer button. I'm going to roll down the mask, and I'll click on the Paste button. So there we go. Now any adjustments that I add are going to add to the same spots. In that case, it was the background. I want to add it to the flower, so I'll just click the Invert Mask button. Now the adjustments on this layer are going to get applied to the flower itself. So watch. Let's grab like the Detail Slider. I'm going to turn up that Detail Slider. I really want the little veins in it to pop out just like that. And then maybe we'll take the highlights, and I'm going to bring the highlights up. I want to brighten those highlights just a little bit. And we'll take the shadows, and we'll make them just a little bit darker. This will increase the contrast in the flower just a little. There we go. That's pretty cool. Let's look at the before and the after. So there's before, and there's after. Now that was all done with the brush tool, but I can also use the adjustable gradient tool. I think the adjustable gradient tool is the best way to, to do a vignette. I'm just going to add another layer here. I'll grab the adjustable gradient, and I can use this in either a round shape or a linear shape. I'm going to use it in a round shape with the vignette preset. We'll there we go. We'll pop that in. And you see how that's added a cool, flexible vignette where I can control its size and its position and its shape. I can even rotate it to really create a custom tailored vignette to create just the shape of vignette that I want. Now, the coolest thing about those adjustment layers is they sit on top of everything. So I could actually go and change my filter settings in effects, and all of the work that I've done will be applied on top of it. So I could go to effects, go to the stack that I created, and make adjustments inside of it. Maybe I want to change the toner to a little different toner. And you can see how all my local adjustments that I added actually sit above effects. All right, there you go. There's a little bit of the power of the new local adjustment tools in Photo Raw.